Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's episode 2 of this 30 days challenge. It's already 6 p.m. I just came back from work. Uh, I've tried to shoot the first part of this video and then noticed I was out of focus. But let's get, uh, let's stay persistent and uh, get this video done. So I had the idea of this video today, driving my car, because I'm currently in the process of analyzing my most recent videos, but that are getting old now because they were made in February, to spot um, some main parasite movements that I'm doing in my flying in order to um, improve my flying in general. These sort of what I call parasite movements are some, some moves that you do while you're flying. You don't really realize while you're doing it, but when you end up looking at your footage, they are the kind of moves that break your flow. It's not always easy to spot. When you look at your footage, sometimes you don't like it, but you're not too sure why. And it might be good sometimes to have feedback from your friend. You show them a video and you're like, look, um, I don't really like my flying, but I don't know how to explain why. Can you help me uh, tell me what's wrong with it? And sometimes they're able to spot this little parasite movement. In this video, I'm going to point out three main ones that I'm doing and that I'm currently trying to uh, correct at the moment. And they're all stick management related. Let's call it like this. It's basically directly related to how I manage um, my inputs on my control. So let's get into this. I've downloaded a video from February this year and I'm going to show you these three parasite movements. Um, but for now, I'm going to explain the first one with this drone. So the first one I would call it um, um, quitting commitment. I don't know if it's really the right term for it. With the quad line of sight, you would see someone following a line with a certain angle. And suddenly there's an obstacle coming up or a turn or a change in direction. Something that disturbs you a little bit when you're flying, whether it's planned or not. Because you, you're um, not really sure uh, about the momentum of your quad or you're not happy with the speed you're carrying uh, at that moment, usually it's because it's too fast, you're gonna tilt back your drone. And that has an effect of breaking the flow of your flying because suddenly there's a, a break in the angle you were flying at and it just look awkward. If I show you what I mean, it's gonna be easier for you to realize what it is. For me, it was the hardest one to spot. It ends up looking like you're scared. You were committed and finally you're not. So not only it breaks the flow, but also it still make your flying look like a beginner. So that was the first one. The second one is what I would call small corrections or um, parasite corrections. So this happens when um, you're following a line and after a while you, you realize that the point you were aiming at is a bit off compared to your drone. So whether you were drifting a bit, you end up having to do a small correction to keep pointing at, let's say, a tree, for example. The result of this looks like the flow is broken and that the line is not exactly right and it ends up ruining a little bit the, this part of the footage you were trying to record. So that was the second one. The last one is probably the easiest one to, to spot in your flying is when you overshoot or undershoot your uh, tricks. The, the main result of that in your footage is just that it looks off. So you can follow nice lines, you, you can maybe not do the two first ones that I mentioned. If you overshoot or undershoot, it's just gonna end up looking not correct. So um, yeah, that's the third one. And they are actually the three parasite movements I'm currently trying to um, fix in my flying at the moment. The solution for the first one that I found is I need to balance a bit more how much I use throttle and pitch. In my flying, I have a tendency to be too harsh, too harsh on pitch and not smooth enough on throttle. So what I need to do is learn to use throttle a bit more, but also in, in a smoother way, and uh, back off a little bit on pitch, because this change in, in angle can be compensated by a, a smoother throttle and a bit less pitch, or at least a consistent pitch. So that's what I'm trying to, to work on at the moment. For the little corrections, parasite corrections, it's a matter of looking further when you're flying, sticking to a line, but also choosing it right at the start. And that comes with experience as well, but it's really helping when you're aware of it while you're flying, uh, you will choose your lines a little bit better. So it comes with experience, but also being aware of it uh, really helps a lot. The last one, overshooting or undershooting, has a lot to do with your rates. If your rates are not suitable for you, you will have a tendency, naturally, to um, throw the stick at a rhythm that doesn't match your brain. So it's normal if you overshoot or undershoot if you don't have the right rates. Steak and I did videos about how to find your rates and results 
that happen when you actually find them. If you want to have a look at them, I'll put links in this video description. Check your rates and then it's just a matter of uh, knowing the setup you're flying. This is why it's not good to change too often your setup because the the props will um, will change, the weight will change, and then you will not really know the momentum of your quad. Not knowing the momentum and the behavior in the air of your quad uh, will end up you overshooting or undershooting your, your tricks. It sounds obvious, but all these little things, um, even after two years of flying, I was still doing these mistakes. I wonder if you guys um, have spotted the same kind of mistakes in, in your flying. Let me know in the comments. If you have fixed it already, let us know in the comments so that everyone can read solutions. Um, I'm just guessing the solution for my problems. I will do a follow-up video uh, hopefully when this is fixed. But yeah, um, thanks for watching this one. I hope it was useful and that's it for today. I have no idea what I'm going to talk about tomorrow, but I'll see you there. Bye-bye.